<laughs> Hello and welcome to my craft video where I have started not even halfway through but sort of this is a test for my other crafts. If you see over there that big old board is gonna have a thing done to it with a whole pile of junk. So this is a test for if I'm even gonna bother doing that because that's a substantially bigger craft and would be a pain in the butt to record at all. So here's for test number one. Probably the only test if, you know, yeah. Here's my tiny bowl and start by applying some grape. Oh jeez. And we'll cover that gap up. A leaf. Pretty sad little grapes here. And again, I don't have a super amount of stuff to work with. I'm gonna try and differentiate the grapes a little bit and working with them while they're wet will help. God, painting with a camera in front of your face is just as bad as I thought it might be. Okay, well we'll definitely segregate those ones. <sighs> that is definitely what has happened there. And we'll whack a job on top and segregate them out again. Is that good? Good enough. Alright, now I just repeat with as many grapes as I feel like. <sighs> we'll go with less is more because I don't think I can be soft with doing too many of these. Mmm, then we have to move on to the leaves and they're gonna suck because leaves are weirdly hard. Thank you, phone. Going off at me all day. I'd really quite easily mess these up with just a little tiny blob just cause this is my smallest brush by the way it's as tiny as I've got anyway I'm sure that some people have smaller ones but this is all that got somewhat expensive it's like 10, 20 bucks oh god for a bigger one maybe <gasps> jesus massive okay well it's not gonna be a five lumped grape like i thought it might be perhaps five lumps is just too good for this game okay that in little detail a bit come back over with my mix of the two just gently segregate them i wonder if you can even see what i'm doing or if it's all just a massive blob I mean, I don't even know how much my little camera can take. <laughs> Boom. It's kind of bad, but good enough. We'll whack. I think one here, and then I can have a leaf to cover it over a little bit. So yeah, I can do a bit of a one, two, three, and God, the shakes are really started. Unevenness can be beautiful. It also can. Okay, stop shaking. This is the more intricate bit that's even easier to stuff up. Yeah, I've just bad. Well, let's attempt to um, mesh that in a little bit more. And then uh, add some of the lightest color back on top to bring these beautiful little grapes out. Guys, one good thing about you can pretty much add as many layers as you want. And that's just you know, fine, it's paint, you can just paint it again and again and again. Generally I don't have the um patience for that, so I just try and get it right the first time. Oh boy. This one there, one here. Good enough, I'm happy. Alright, there's the grapes in place. Now I need to make four the uh leaves. That took both longer and shorter than I thought it might. Alright, and now for the leaves, I think. Oh no. <gasps> okay. Okay. Here is part number two. The leaves. Which I think start here. Probably got a little bit too much of my breath. The leaves are just a bundle of fun. God, that's fucking terrible, isn't it? You can always make it a little better, maybe. Mm, definitely gonna need to add some something to that. I unfortunately have this very lime green colour as my uh, secondary green because all my other greens have unfortunately hardened. These containers that I bought for holding paint, not as good as I had hoped they might be and uh, well I definitely need to use them up now that I know that they don't keep the paint as fresh as they, well I thought they might. I definitely got some uh, colour differentiation there. Jeez that leaf is terrible. It's not the easiest point to try and start at, but um, let's not load the brush up quite so much this time. Okay. 
I do actually quite like this one now that I look at it again, so there's first part, second, disappear part. Yeah, I quite like that. The leaf is terrible. Maybe I could disappear a bit more of it behind here, extend that out. I think this paint is also drying, unfortunately, so it looks like I got a bunch on the brush, but actually it's already dried up. Mm. It's not helped. Round it out and pretend that that... <sighs> There's also the thing of stop touching it, because that doesn't always help, actually. You'd think more is more, but... Yeah, you can have too much. Oh god, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Stop touching it. Okay, that's terrible. Oh my god, I keep fucking going back to it. Okay, leave it alone. Next one. We will perhaps try a very slightly different method. Oh, these look like mine and the actual ones. You you try and draw these leaves. You always just pen and paper and they look so funky, man. And yet somehow incredibly iconic. Maybe if I just stop trying for the extra prongy thing, that'll look better. Nope, I'm drawing myself. Can't see what I just did there, but for some reason I thought it was a great idea to dunk the paintbrush on my arm. Just a touch. Oh, someone sort of dry brush this on. Kind of, probably. I'm gonna dull that bit. Back down again. Yeah, these paints are not doing well. So dry. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, any other leaf could do one there. Jesus, what have I got? I think that was a cat hair, and I think I still got it. Viney leaves, I got like five leaves together. You know, working on the tiny, teeny, daddy little scale. Doesn't fucking help. They're sort of like hemp leaves, but fat or something. At least the reference that I have at the moment. Perhaps I just drew the bad reference. Oh god, that's terrible. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Hmm. Maybe I'll just uh, fudge it with a bit of this lightning green. Something, something, something all better. God, I wish my arm would stop shaking. Nope, I like that one even less. You wouldn't think it was possible, but I hate it even more. It's just attempting to elude to shapes. Yeah, alright. I'll we'll add a little bit of lime green. Just, oh dear lord. Well, oh, you probably couldn't have seen any of that. <laughs> I was just talking to myself. Uh, yep. Okay, last view over. Here we go. Do a bit of a this. So, here is my tiny pot with vine, grapevine. It's minimalistic. Not entirely what I was going to go for, but it's good enough. Uh, for reference, this is a pen. This is my pot. Pretty tiny. And here are some other things that you could make. Or paint. Did I show you the most interesting one? Probably not. But at this point in time, I'd already done them all and I wasn't really sure if I'd record it. So there you go. This one's pretty plain, except for on the inside. Check out that flower. <laughs> Little snail. I don't think the camera's work. Psychedelic rainbow. It was terrible with my camera work. Tiny pot. Ooh, my tiny flowers. This weird one is uh, glaze, because this was a tiny pot kit. Studio glaze. I don't like it. It's weird, it's kind of tacky, it's not really adhered all that well. I don't like it. And um, here's an unfinished teapot. Ta-da! And goodbye. Have a nice day!